Proverbs and welcome to break time. Today's proverb is Proverbs 15, 18. It says, a hot-tempered person stirs up conflict, but the one who is patient calms a storm. Now, and we have both types of kind of um, leadership styles here. We have a lot of personality that's mentioned in this verse. And I'm sure that in your workplaces that you, 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 have, you come across both of these people. But I, 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 I guess the question that I'm having is, what kind of person what are you? <laughs> are you one that is so patient that when you, when you lead, that you're leading with, with patience and wherever you go, there's a still storm? Or are you, are you more tempted to blow up <laughs> and then let the results fall where they may and often cause a ton of conflict? Well, I'm going to let you know that there, the Holy Spirit has given us, we could all take the personality profiles and see where we, where we would probably fall. But the Holy Spirit has, has given us the spirit, his spirit, and he does not act out in anger. <laughs> he doesn't cause conflict. So faith leaders, we're under the power of the Holy Spirit. And for some of us, it takes a lot of the power of the Holy Spirit to walk in patience because we're, we're quick thinkers. We want things done and we want them done yesterday or whatever causes that conflict within you. But remember, anger comes out of hearts. Anger is a result in the condition of our hearts. So if you're spilling out anger and causing conflict where you go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to challenge to step back and to ask why. There's, is there a part of our hearts that, or part of your heart that has not been resigned to the Holy Spirit where you have, it, it's, a, it's a pain point and every time something comes in and it's, it's a quick reaction, Oftentimes it comes out of a, of a pain or a conflict that's going on inside your own heart. But <clears throat> often when I'm tempted to get angry, I have to step back. <laughs> and sometimes I literally take a deep breath. And the first thing that I ask myself, and I'm going to challenge you to do the same, is why. Why am I allowing conflict to rise up into me where it's going to come out in anger? And oftentimes it, it brings me back to a place of my heart that hasn't been resolved yet. And so I, I, I invite the Holy Spirit to speak peace, even though I'm not feeling it. Speak peace through me. And that's what I'm going to pray for all of us, that we will speak peace. Even though it may not be something that we're feeling, we may be feeling angry and anxious, and we may have to um, not rely upon how we're feeling, but relying upon the Holy Spirit is a whole different experience. And you are faith leaders, and you've been given that capacity. So God bless you today as you walk around in peace.